And good morning to you. Good Monday morning. It's time again for our Monday morning live edition of Healthy Living South Mississippi. Live healthy, be healthy. I'm Jim Tabor along with Dr. Jim and Janine Fox of Doctors morning. Nutrition morning. over on Callan Road in Gulfport. Our phone lines are 896-0713 or 800-349-0713. You're welcome to call in with your questions regarding our topic of the day or if something else you've been thinking about over the weekend that uh, you want to call and ask about, you're welcome to do that too. But uh, something that um, I, I guess people don't really think about at times, unless you're a bodybuilder or you know you like work out a lot, and that's nutrients for your muscles. Exactly. And things right. that you need to do. I mean, of course, one of the greatest things you can do for your muscles is drink a lot of this water. 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 Exactly. Right. Your muscles, your skin, or what, uh, whatever uh, your, your body. But uh, your body. Period. Period. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's right. But uh, nutrients. I mean, right. it's something that uh, because working outside, which you know, I'm a little sore from working outside yesterday, and mm -hmm. then uh, you know people that go to the gym, which. I don't. So <laughs> you you do off and on. <laughs> I do off and on. Yes, more off than on, but uh, I, I do try to go from time to time. I but, drive uh, by but one every day. <laughs> you drive by one every day. <laughs> wave, wave at them as yeah. you go by. Yeah. Uh, yeah so we wanted to do a show more on mu keeping your muscles healthy, not just building muscles, because you know right, most right. Pe most people out there are not bodybuilders. Most people out there are not just trying to get right. big old giant muscles, mm -hmm. but. So many people out there listening have problems with their muscles because we hear it every day. Mm -hmm. And we thought about it and we said, you know, everybody's always talking about muscle building. We really just need to talk about things that actually help the muscles and why people are having so many muscle problems. That's one of the big things. Right. And one of the big things is depletions of the nutrients from medications. People don't even think about that. They take a medication and you deplete certain nutrients. Mm -hmm. And if it's a nutrient that's essential for the muscles, you're going to have more muscle pain, muscle weakness. You're going to get to where I've even had people come in that can't even hardly walk anymore. Really? And when, right. they were, when they replenish the nutrients to the muscles from the medications that they are taking, mm -hmm. they can walk again. Wow. Now, we're not talking about any paralysis or anything like that. We're just talking about no, no. they get so weak right. that they can't even walk. And probably, you know, so, so much so with, uh, with your arms and everything as well, for those, if you, you use yeah. your arms a lot or whatever, and if you don't take proper nu nutrients for them, after a while, they're, as you said, they're going to be sore a lot, yeah. or you're just gonna not going to have the strength. So yeah. yeah. sore, less, you know, less strength, mm -hmm. you know, just aching. Right, right. Just generalized pain everywhere. Which, which kind of falls into, the, you know, a lot of times we have people come in, and they say, well, you know, I've been diagnosed with fibromyalgia. Um, okay, that's, that's, some, that's one of the symptoms, so to speak, if you, if you will that a lot of these people have when they lost a lot of these nutrients and, and their body starts really reacting to it. And it's a matter of just, okay, let's fix some basic nutrients thing. You know, things like the, you know, the coenzyme Q10 is huge. It's a huge one. Huge. Um, because, because there's Q10. so many medications, there's so many classes of medications that actually deplete it. A lot of people yeah. know about the statins depleting CoQ10. That's the big one. Now you also, the beta blockers, which is a blood pressure medicine, also depletes CoQ10. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now they're finding out a lot of the... Could be why um, I'm on CoQ10. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a lot of your right. diabetic medications deplete CoQ10 and right. a lot of your antidepressants de deplete CoQ10. So how many people much, that covers a lot of areas. Yeah, it covers really. about seventy percent of the population right there. Right, and CoQ10 wow. is essential for muscle health, and you don't get it a lot in your diet. Your body produces CoQ10, and it actually makes it. It's that important for the muscles. But the bad thing is a lot of these medications stop production, and so if you stop production of CoQ10 and you don't have enough CoQ10, you're going to start having a lot of muscle problems. And when we talk about muscles, the heart is a muscle. So a lot of people take these medications for the heart, and in turn decreases the function of the heart. Yeah, that, that's kind of the, the, the sad part about it is, yeah. you know, you take a medication, well, okay, this is for your blood pressure and gonna help your heart and everything, mm -hmm. but in, in reality, if you're depleting all your CoQ10 and other nutrients, then wait a minute, we're, we're getting ready to cause problems. All right, Ashton from Career is on the phone with us this morning. Good morning, Ashton, what's your question for the doctors? I'm not about, uh... Go ahead. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm trying to find out about the weak muscles. I can't hardly walk. Are you on a lot of medications? Yeah, all kind of medications. Okay. We were just talking there about how medications deplete certain nutrients. So probably the thing to do is to come by, bring a list of your medications, and let us look and see what you're having depleted. And then replace, that's the first thing I would do, yeah. is actually take the stuff that's depleted. And we see it, people with a big difference after they do that. And there's no cost for a consultation. Right, no cost right. for a consultation. So yeah. just come by with your list, because if you're on that many medications, we probably need to sit down and go through them all. Yeah. Um, and see what it is that you're depleted. 
So another thing I was going to tell people is you can get online. You can actually put each medication in mm -hmm. and just Google it. Just Google what nutrients are depleted by and write the name of the medication. It'll bring it up. There are sites all over the internet that tells you the depletions. So it's something that's easily gotten today where you used to couldn't find that out, but now it's out there. Yeah. Right. I mean, it, that, that was, it was a real problem years ago. I mean, seriously. You, you couldn't know, you, figure you, out you which, couldn't figure yeah. Out. But yeah. nowadays, you know, we're, the, the information's out there. And, and somebody just like Ashton, you know, he's taken a lot of different medications and so on. And, you know, probably nobody's looking right. at, okay, what are we depleting in this program? And we're not saying to stop all your medications. No, what no. we're saying is just let's look at them and take what you need to actually replenish what you're depleting. Yeah. And you can do it. I mean, we do it all the time. So we actually a lot right. of times look at that for people because it makes a huge difference in your overall health. Um, and so many people are on multiple medications nowadays, and we're seeing more and more muscle problems and more and more people like Ashton, which is why we decided to yeah. do the show. Yeah. All right, Beverly from mm -hmm. D'Iberville is on the phone with us now. Good morning, Beverly. What's your question for the doctors? Good morning. Good morning. My, Good morning. my question is, is there a test to determine if your CoQ10 levels are low or are they adequate? Yes, there is a... Um, Lab, a blood test that we can do that it does do CoQ10. We also have something called SpectraCell, which is all nutrients. It's a little bit more expensive, but it checks all your nutrients within the cell. So there's a couple tests that you can do. And, and, and both of them are blood tests? Yes, they're both blood tests. Blood tests. Yeah. Now, the SpectraCell test that she talks is about... Is probably a better test because... Oh, it's a much better test. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's the Cadillac, uh -huh. okay? So, you know, because what you're doing is you're taking your cells and now we're not just looking and see how much of the CoQ10 is running around in the plasma, which is in the bloodstream. Blood. We're taking these cells, separating the cells out, crushing them and seeing what's actually inside your living cells. That's what's really important about that yeah. particular test. Great test. So yeah, we do do the test and I mean, but CoQ10 never hurts to get extra, so you can't get too much. Mm -hmm. So I tell people they don't have to actually check the CoQ10 levels to take CoQ10. That's one oh, of those no. nutrients that you really, I've never seen, you know, really high doses have been used for like congestive mm -hmm. heart failure and stuff like that. So we use extreme doses just for certain problems, even if the levels are okay. Right. All right. Okay. Thank, thank, thank you for the call. Much. Thank, thank you, Beverly, for your call. 896-0713 or 800-349-0713. Those are the phone lines in which you can call in. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. And welcome back to our show this morning. Our phone lines are 896-0713 or 800-349-0713. We're talking about uh, nutrients for the muscles this morning. And uh, if you uh, want to visit the doctors at the, uh, at the office that's located on Cowan Road, just south of Pass Road, best thing to do is take uh, the gentleman in uh, Ashton, if you're coming from Career, if you take uh, I-10 to Lorraine Road and go south, as soon as yeah. you cross, uh, get Pass across Road. Pass Road and get right down there, maybe a couple hundred yards, you'll see it on the left-hand side. Um, Doctors Nutrition is across from the old Kmart Garden Center there on um, Cal and Lorraine Road. But they're open Monday through Friday from um, 10 to 5, 30. Right. And then mm -hmm. from on Saturdays, 11 to 2, and Jim and Janine are there uh, Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. And Dr. Bull is there all week long. Yes. yes. So. Except for this Wednesday. Except for this Wednesday. He's on vacation. Okay. But he will be back on Thursday. So there, Wednesday, we won't have anybody there for consultations. Okay. So just, you there know, you if you go. need refills, know what you need, you can go by. But you, but you, but, you know, a great staff of people that are working oh, yeah. there yeah. that are very so, knowledgeable and everything between, uh, you know, Vic and Tana and Brooke and... Yeah. Uh, I guess Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> I say that. I met, well, we pick at each other all the time, so I have to give her a hard time. But anyway, uh, yeah, nutrients for your muscles. I mean, the CoQ10, uh, you put me on that. Right, because, 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 I, because you I take, been on, yeah, you've been on a medication. Uh, that's right. I take the medication. You know, I'm on cholesterol medication. I'm also on uh, um, blood pressure medication. So, right. uh, and not knowing that things like that can rob your muscles right. of the nutrients and that they need. And CoQ10 is one, yeah. we mention that all the time because it's one of the biggest things depleted by medications. Mm -hmm. Now there's other things that the muscles just need, even if it's not depleted by you know, medications. There's magnesium. Magnesium is depleted in probably 90% of Americans. I think they said about 90 to 95%. Yeah. Really? And, now that was a study, it was done a few years ago, but they actually showed that 90 to 95% of the population doesn't get adequate magnesium in their diet. Right, well the, the diet itself, the, the vegetables that your actual food is depleted in magnesium right. so even a food that is supposed to be higher in magnesium is not as high as it used to be so we're finding a lot of depletions in magnesium another one that's really good to take um, your body will tell you if you get too much you get diarrhea the only people that cannot take magnesium is somebody with chronic kidney disease 
So as long as you don't have chronic, kid chronic kidney disease, you yeah. can actually take magnesium and it shouldn't, if it, the worst thing is you'll get diarrhea and you come back down. Okay. David from Biloxi on the phone with a question. Good morning, David. What's your question for the doctors? Good morning. I just tuned in and uh, I just caught the tail end of what you were talking about, but it's that CoQ10, I got a handout from the VA the other day. Uh -huh. Is this something that gets taken? Okay, he also just put me on Lipitor. Yes. Okay. Lipitor and, depletes it. Okay. And is this like a, a stronger version of, I've been told before to take red krill pills or fish oil? Krill doesn't have any CoQ10. No, it has no CoQ. So it's nothing, not even right. the same. Now, krill is great to take, and so oh, yeah. is fish oil. So those are great for, for overall for health. Low, yeah, but it does not. lowering cholesterol, though? Um, it actually helps probably lower triglycerides better than cholesterol, yeah. but it, that in turn can lower your VLDLs, which is one segment of the cholesterol. Right. Um, but CoQ10 is something that really there's nothing that substitutes CoQ10 other than CoQ10. Yeah. I mean, there is a form of CoQ10 called ubiquinol, and that's fine too. It's just a form of CoQ10. But anytime you take a statin drug, which is the Lipitor you were put on, you definitely want to replace your CoQ10. Yeah, that's what I take Lipitor. Would you try... I realize I should have asked him this, but my uh, level was, I think, 149, uh -huh. and the within normal limits was up to 130 or something right. like that. Is, should I try? Should I try dietary stuff before I take something like Lipitor? Now, when you say that your level was, was up, LDL, is that your LDL fraction? Um, I don't know, but the the number, the okay. important number, I guess. There's, um, a, there's a lot of natural things and exercise and diet changes that you can do to lower cholesterol. Um, yeah. There is a lot of depletions when you do take the medication. So I always tell people, yeah, yeah, that's, that's between that's you and your doctor, but there is natural things. If you come in, we can talk about some of the things you can do, and then you can recheck it. That's the easy level to check to see if it's coming down. And one of the things yeah, that they yeah. have, one of the things they have there, David, they've got a great uh, low glycemic diet. Right. That uh, is just a sheet that you can go by. It's got, you know, your best food, good foods, and then your bad food on the back. And it's really a good diet. There's a lot of great food on there. Because really, I have high cholesterol. And it depends, too. And that's what they put yeah. me on. It depends, too, on your triglycerides. Uh, the diet makes a difference. We can look at your lipids and tell mm -hmm. if diet's going to probably be really good for you or not. But if you bring in a copy of your lab work, we'll be happy to look at it for you and let you know. All righty. Because months ago, I switched from... Uh, hamburger to turkey burger because I thought I had gout and my uh, levels changed dramatically for the okay, better. Okay, good. Like oh, I said, yeah. but so. you know, getting getting rid of the bun that goes with that makes a difference as well. All righty. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Okay, thank oh, you. Thank you, David. Now, we do the turkey burgers at home, but we yeah. don't use buns. Right, we right. Just, exactly. We just, we just use the, uh, the burger, and Kim will grill it or whatever, whatever just the meat, yeah. Yeah. and put whatever you want on it. We just yeah. don't put, put uh, bread with it. Right. Uh, Juanita is on the phone with a question now. Good morning, Juanita. What's your question for the doctors? Good morning. Good morning. I ask what nutrients do you lose if you are taking metformin for diabetes Met type 2? Metformin, they believe, that's one of the ones that they believe will affect CoQ10. Right. And metformin has a few other nutrients. One of the biggest problems with metformin is it, it tends in a lot of people causes loose stool or diarrhea. Right. And you're going to lose a lot of nutrients. A lot I mean, of minerals. It depends minerals, on the side effects right. that you have from the medication. Right. Um, but you can definitely, like I said, you can replenish that. Um, come by and we'll you know, help you get what you need for the depletion. But the CoQ10 oh. is one of them, which is a big one for the muscle. It really is. Oh, okay. So that's that's the reason at times it seems as if you're having muscle spasm or right. your yes. muscle locks up on you. Now, right. lot, yeah, exactly. exactly. And that can be minerals too. Now, when yeah. the muscles do more like the cramping, a lot of times it can be minerals as well. And we do have a something called Mega Mineral that works really good when that's yeah. going on. Oh, okay. okay. I'm glad I was watching this morning. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you, Juanita. Uh, Luis is on the phone from Ocean Springs. Good morning, Luis. What's your question? Uh, good morning. I take Centroid, and I've been taking Centroid for quite a few years. Mm -hmm. uh, what can I do to help my muscles? Okay, now on Centroid, one of the few nutrients that's been shown to be depleted by Centroid is calcium. Now, calcium is also important for muscles. I mean, we talk right. about magnesium, but calcium is also one, and definitely that's why Centroid increases bone loss. So that is something that you can do. Now, I'll also say, somebody on Centroid, we, we always like to check 
multiple levels, not just your TSH and your blood work, because we find people with low T3 mm -hmm. that are on Synthroid still have muscle problems. Right. So that might not be a depletion, that might be actually a still a thyroid issue, part of the thyroid problem you have in the first place. Okay. So if you so, come, come by or bring us a copy of your recent lab work and we can look at it that's and, the place to start. and do mm -hmm. more if needed because there are a few, almost everybody that takes Synthroid that still has the muscle problems, we do still see usually a low T3. And when you do okay. something for that low T3, it actually helps with the muscles. Sure does. Now you said calcium, so the more yes. milk? Um, milk is not, you get some. That's probably not your best way to do But a lot of times do, yeah. you do, probably don't get enough. Especially if you're, they do recommend supplementing calcium if you're on thyroid medication. Okay. And I always recommend if you're supplementing calcium, you always want magnesium with it. Yeah, they we, balance. We like the combination. Yeah, the combination. The so you always want to, so get a calcium magnesium supplement and that will help some, but then also look at the thyroid a little bit more as well. Okay, so I will stop in and see you. And I thank you so oh, much for taking you. out the time. Thank I you. Really Absolutely. appreciate thank you. Thank you for your call, thank Louise. You. Thank you. All right, uh, 896 0713 800 0713. Those are the phone lines. We'll be back with our final segment and this week's special. And welcome back. It's our final segment this morning of our Monday morning live show with Drs. Jim and Janine Fox and Doctors Nutrition. Uh, we're talking about nutrients for the muscles. Uh, Cheryl from Ocean Springs. Uh, thank you for holding, Cheryl. What's your message for are there your question for the doctor? <laughs> <Message, yeah. laughs> What's your question? Okay. My question is um, toes, you know, mm -hmm. just your individual toes that will cramp up and almost like lock in place, like stick up and stay cramped. Any other what muscles? What would that be? Any other muscles cramped? You know, any other in the muscles in the foot or calf? Or no, it's just the toes, really. The um, I thought maybe it's circulation, but it might be the muscle issue. <clears throat> Could very well be. Uh, I mean, I'd probably one of the first things I would try, the simple thing, is to try fixing up some of those minerals because it could very well be just a, mineral, a mild mineral depletion. Sometimes oh, it, it can be coming from the low back, too. And it could be possible. Yeah. I mean, it's possible. When you, say, when you say minerals, is that, I notice it's S, minerals. Right. So <laughs> you have a right way to break down what minerals you need? Well, earlier we talked about that SpectraCell test, and that you can actually test definitely individual. It tests them all to see which ones you need. Now, a lot of people don't want to spend the money for that testing because the nutrient testing is pretty expensive. Um, it's like $450 to do the nutrient testing. Now, you so, could, um, we have something called Mega Mineral that is all your minerals. And okay, okay. So, it's so kind mineral of, is different than a magnesium. Yes, oh, and yeah. so it's all your minerals, and that way it catches them all. And so we usually use, if you don't know which one, because it's not always magnesium or potassium or calcium. I mean, there's different minerals. Mm -hmm. So we'll just do right. a multi-mineral, which you, is called okay. mega mineral, and that way we can see if it helps. Do you drink a lot of water? No. That's another thing so, you can so do. Uh, just water could it be dehydration. And we even have something yeah. called muscle, something like cramp, muscle cramp and tension formula. And yeah. what it yep. is, is some of the minerals along with some of the relaxants. But if it's your okay. toes, I'd probably just try the regular mega mineral first. That'd, that'd be the first place. And it's I'd inexpensive. Yeah. Okay, I mean, well, I'd love to try that because, but a magnesium is a mineral, correct? It, it is. A it is. It's okay. one of the most essential minerals for the muscles, but it's not always a magnesium problem. <clears throat> okay. 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 Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Appreciate it. Thanks. For, the thing about, you know, people talk about calcium and magnesium, it takes calcium will make our muscles contract. Mm -hmm. Now, once you get it contracted, if you want it to release and relax, it takes magnesium. Right. Down on a cellular level. That's what. That's how it. And then potassium acts. plays a huge role as well. Mm -hmm. But you can't just take a bunch of potassium because no. you can get too much potassium. That is one of the minerals that you can definitely get too much of. And everybody thinks, oh, it's potassium. Well, it's not always potassium. Sometimes it's even even sodium, which is salt. But that's why that's you look at lab too. work and see if the sodium is. Well, low. I mean, you hear about you know whenever there's people exercise or running or whatever, they they will eat a banana. Yeah. Because of the potassium in it. And it's not yeah. always a potassium problem, though, because we have yeah. people every day that come in and say, I eat something every day that has potassium and I'm still getting these cramps. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not necessarily a potassium problem. So that's what you got to kind of figure out which problem is it. Yeah, this time of year, <clears throat> Mega Mineral is one of our big sellers. It really because is. We live in the South and, and we would perspire. Sweat. 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 That's the word. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, down here, you're going to sweat. You know, when the humidity is 85%, it's, you know, like, it's hot and you're going to sweat. And of course, we're losing a lot of, of, of minerals when we do that. And so what you have to do is just replace them. And we have people that, especially if they work outside, you know, for in whatever capacity, during the summer, you know, they'll start in the spring and they'll start just adding those minerals to them and it keeps them from having problems like the cramping and sort of like that. So 
extremely, extremely valuable and, and inexpensive to do. Right. All right. Uh, 896 713 We still have time to take a few calls. Uh, this week's special. Right. Well, why not CoQ10? Right. And RiboFuel. Now, RiboFuel is kind of a combination of things. And we uh, haven't even got a chance to talk about all the nutrients the muscles <laughs> needed. RiboFuel is a combination. It does have some CoQ10 in it, but it right. also has L-carnitine, ribose, some magnesium, some malic acid. It has all kind of things yeah. for the muscles. Now, the RiboFuel, some people that work out even use it as like a pre-workout, but you don't have to work out to use it. It helps. It's the nutrients for the muscles. Right. Um, carnitine is another big one, and we hadn't gotten to it because we've uh -huh. had so many calls this morning, but a lot of seizure medications deplete carnitine. So you start looking, and it's another one that can be depleted. Yeah. And it's, it's really good for overall health, and it's great for the muscles as well. And yeah. any, any, we didn't even talk about mitochondria today, <laughs> well, which was what we planned yet, on doing, <laughs> <laughs> which the yeah. mitochondria is a little powerhouse of the cells. Right. And they actually produce ATP, which is energy. When you don't have these nutrients needed for the mitochondria, you actually start having less energy produced. And when we talk about energy, that muscles have to have energy to work. And, right. that, and that energy starts on that cellular level, down in that mitochondria. Yeah. And, and the cells have, the, the, you know, each cell has its own mitochondria. And, and if you don't have enough mitochondrial function, uh, you're going to have some problems. You're going to have right. some muscle you're issues. You're going to have where those muscle like issues right. are mm -hmm. severe. Mm -hmm. So RiboFuel has a lot of the things together for mitochondrial function. Yeah, the, and CoQ10 itself is really good for mitochondrial it function. It really is. And, and the, the ribose, which is it's kind of a weird kind of sugar, if you will, uh, but it's one that our body can produce itself and or you can take some in, in a form like this. <clears throat> but without the ribose, you can't, the, the mitochondria can't make what we call RNA ribonucleic acid, which is half of your DNA, okay? So it, it's really that important on that mitochondrial function to have all these nutrients in place. So when your body, and your body knows when it, and, when it needs it. And even with needs. some of the muscle diseases mm -hmm. out there, you may not reverse them, but these nutrients play a huge role in huge supporting. Role. And we have a lot of people, if you do a lot of research on some of the muscular problems, almost everything that comes up is the nutrients. Right. And so we have a lot of people that come in because they know they have a muscular problem. Mm -hmm. And even though it's a disease mm -hmm. and it may not reverse it, it can support it. Right. So there's so much for the mu muscles is a huge subject. We might have to do a, another show yeah, on it sometime really. because there's so much we didn't even get to. All right, but uh, we still have time for a call or two. We've got about a minute and a half left. Eight nine six zero seven one three or eight hundred three four nine zero seven one three. And of course, being out um, in this heat, as you said, where we're sweating all the time, yeah. you know, it's very important that you drink a lot of fluids. Right. We well, got to have enough water. Yeah. Right. And right. We don't. We don't count. Uh, soft drinks no. or beers as, no. uh, as, no, as that's fluid. A little dehydrating, actually. <laughs> or coffee. But, um, or, tea. or coffee. And just yeah. another thing we didn't mention, just to mention it real quick lactic acid buildup, which is exercise, and mm -hmm. you get real sore and you can't get over it. DMG, dimethylglycine, plays a huge role in huge getting role. rid of lactic acid. And we do have a CoQ10 product, which is one of the ones on sale. All of our CoQ10 products are on sale. Um, it's CoQ10 with DMG at a high dose, and, and, so and that's it's really good for the muscles. We even use that in a lot of the folks that have like the uh, congestive heart failure yeah. and things like that, mm -hmm. where we can go really big dose. And it's a chewable, it. so it tastes good, yeah. and oh, you can nice. just chew it up in the morning. Yeah. Okay. And the uh, L-carnitine is that uh, tablet or powder? Yeah, it's a tablet. 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 Well, I mean, okay. we have yeah. and we have it in some other products. Our CV Core has carnitine. The RiboFuel has carnitine, mm -hmm. and then we have carnitine by itself. Okay. All right. Well, uh, again, if uh, you didn't get in on your call this morning, uh, you can uh, email me or you can call the doctors at 897-0070. Next week, we're talking about? The dangers of pre-diabetes. Ah. Yes, mm. very, very dangerous. So be sure yeah. that you uh, tune in for that. Anyway, uh, get out and enjoy your week. It's going to be a beautiful one. According to Wesley, might have a little bit of showers here and there. But uh, we will catch you again next Monday morning for our Monday morning live edition of Healthy Living South Mississippi. Live healthy, be healthy. Take someone fishing. <laughs>